Today I whip up this simple yet delicious high protein snack or meal in just 15 minutes on a budget. Come along with me. Welcome to my channel where I share the simple things on my island life located on the east coast of Canada. Projects like gluten and dairy free baking and eating, gardening, sewing, and everything in between. If this is something you'll enjoy, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already guessed it, we're going to be making this simple, easy, quick recipe, meatballs. If you're looking to feed yourself or your family on a budget, be sure to check out the meat section at your local Walmart, where you can find this golden maple ground chicken or turkey for only $2.97 a pound, a steal compared to other prices. Other ingredients we're going to be adding is nutritional yeast to add protein and a cheesy flavor, some onion flakes, salt, pepper, an egg, some parsley, a little bit of mustard. We're gonna slop everything together and it's gonna turn out to these delicious, lovely, luscious meatballs. Don't fret, if there's ingredients that I forgot to mention that you're seeing on the screen, I will be sure to link the recipe in the description box down below so that you can make this yourself. I'm sure that you're going to love this recipe. It's quick, easy, yummy, delicious. You can make it as a snack, an appetizer, or even a main meal. We are first going to be taking our defrosted raw ground chicken mince and putting it into a bowl. We're going to be adding all of our other ingredients and combining it really well. I also make these homemade gluten and dairy-free breadcrumbs. I usually save any of my gluten or dairy-free bread, let it dry overnight or for a few hours, and then put it in my food processor and then just keep it in a container so that I always have some really simple and easy way to um, have some breadcrumbs on hand. I'm then going to be adding some onion flakes, some salt, some pepper, flaked parsley, as well as nutritional yeast to boost the protein level and also the cheesiness of these meatballs. I'm also going to be adding the gluten-free breadcrumbs as well as an egg and then I'm going to combine this all together. I'm going to be placing these on a parchment lined sheet that I'm going to bake in my air fryer. I now have an Amazon storefront, so all of the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, including this lovely air fryer, are linked in my Amazon storefront, so be sure to check them out. I will make a small commission if you happen to purchase anything, but I feel like it's really leveled up my channel and gives me the opportunity to continue to fund and support myself while I bring you these fabulous videos. So once I've had the breadcrumbs, I also add a little, little bit of mustard and a little bit of Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This just helps to keep your meatball recipe nice and moist. Um, so once we've combined this all, of to get all together, like I said, I'm going to have a parchment lined paper, a parchment lined cookie sheet, and I'm going to take a like a little cookie scoop. I think it's like one or two tablespoons, and I'm going to be scooping all of the meatballs out and placing them on the parchment paper. Once I've reached my desired consistency of these meatballs. This meatball recipe yields about 20 to 22 meatballs, so definitely good as a nice appetizer or snack and can feed a couple of you for sure. You can definitely modify this recipe so that it you can add some barbecue, barbecue sauce, you can add them to a pasta sauce, you can serve them as an, an appetizer, um, make a homemade ranch or some barbecue dipping sauce. The sky's the limit. Meatballs are a definitely a very versatile little meal or snack or appetizer to be able to have. So as you hear, see here, I'm taking my cookie scoop and I'm putting them down onto the parchment paper. Once I have placed all of the meatballs onto the parchment paper, I then take my hands and make sure your hands are clean obviously, um, but if you want and you don't like handling meat, you can definitely use some gloves, um, disposable food grade gloves, that would also be an option as well. 
So once they're all on to the parchment paper, I'm then going to roll them into balls and shape them. We're then going to be taking our um, air fryer and we're going to be preheating it to 400 degrees on convection bake and we're going to bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Now if you're ever worried about whether or not your meat is cooked, I highly suggest investing in this meat thermometer. It is a lifesaver if you're ever wondering if your meat, fish, poultry, or anything like that is over or underdone. Um, this too is also in my Amazon storefront and um, be sure to check it out. So as we watch me roll all our bowl, all our meatballs into nice evenly formed round balls. We're then going to place in our preheated air fryer. Now this air fryer is really great. I'm really enjoying it. It gives you the option to dehydrate, convection bake, broil, um, air fry, all of the things. So I'm really enjoying this purchase. Once you preheat your air fryer, it is going to preheat and beep at you whenever it is ready for you to add your food. And then again, it will also beep at you when your food is ready. So that's a nice little perk to be able to have. I also enjoy this air fryer because it is much larger. I have a fairly small apartment, so this is going to be invaluable coming the summer months when it's really, really hot, and I'm not going to be having to use my full oven to be able to bake things. It's perfect if you're wanting to prepare meals, snacks, desserts, cookies, brownies. I've made all of these things in this air fryer, um, and it's so invaluable. I cannot tell you enough how much I'm enjoying it. So here is the Thermapro meat thermometer that I have and we're going to show you how it works once our meatballs are all cooked. Now meat is supposed to be I think 165 to 168 degrees internally in order for it to be considered um, fully cooked. So let's see how close I came once we get to the end of the video and whether or not um, I was close. I'm also going to be using this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, or you can also use this Good Barbecue Sauce as a dipping sauce. I'm going to be using this recipe today kind of as an appetizer and a snack. So barbecue sauce it will be to dip them in. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as it really helps support my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. So we're going to insert the thermometer and it's going to show you what the internal temperature is. Now this recipe said, and as you can see here, it's 176 and it needs to be like 165 to 168. This recipe called to be baked for 10 to 12 minutes and I did the 12 minutes. So you could definitely have these be fully cooked meatballs and at the proper, proper internal cooking temperature at 10 minutes. We're now going to be placing them onto our little serving platter and adding our barbecue sauce. These turned out so yummy and delicious, like so tender and melt in your mouth. I really hope you try this video out. And like I said, I'm going to be posting the ingredients in this recipe in the description box down below. And yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today and sharing in another recipe. This recipe is, as all my recipes are, gluten and dairy free. So perfect for the whole family. I'm counting to see how many I yield. Apparently math is hard. Okay, thank you everyone for joining me. I have added some videos at the end that I think you will also enjoy watching. It's been a pleasure making this video for you today. 
and I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Thanks everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. And be sure to check out my Amazon storefront and the recipe linked in the description box down below. We'll see you again soon, friends. Bye-bye.